Thank you, Caroline. An historic Fall River church is on the verge of closing for good as it's faced with millions of dollars worth of repairs. And tonight, members of St. Anne's Parish were invited to one of several listening sessions to learn more about the situation. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lashuto was there and spoke with the bishop tonight. She joins us in studio with the new details. Sheena. Mike Shannon will actually Bishop de Cunha tells me multiple Catholic churches in Fall River could expect to see some changes in the next year and a half. He says it's all part of a strategic plan to strengthen the Fall River Diocese as a whole. Faith, it's a universal language. People all over the world go to church to hear the Lord's message. We know the demographics have changed. Uh, is a reality. But Bishop Edgar de Cunha says right here in Fall River, some Catholic parishes have fewer and fewer people packing into the pews. If they can't collect enough donation from parishioners to sustain themselves, uh, it's a sign that they are not sustainable. Now the Fall River Diocese is in the process of planning for the future. Some parishes may need to consolidate so that w they can be stronger. So that's why we need to evaluate. And for the last few weeks, it's been the church's turn to listen, inviting those potentially impacted by the changes to share their thoughts. So we had seven in English. We had one in Spanish. Tonight is in Portuguese. The bishop could not give me specific names of which churches are facing merges because of ongoing research. However, Bishop de Cunha is asking those concerned to remember. Faith will always keep them together. The church exists in order to evangelize. That's for 2,000 years. That's what we've been doing. That's our mission. That's why we're here. And Bishop de Cunha says you're welcome to write an email or send a letter to the diocese with your comments or concerns. They are always looking for feedback on all aspects of their services. I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.